Well, well, hey, hey, Sam Nelson coming to you live from Precious World Mobile Studios. I am mobile because I'm uh, getting ready to deposit a, an earnest money check. You might be able to see that here. Uh, let's see, I'm driving, so I really shouldn't be doing this. But if you can't see it, that's all right. Not a big deal. It's only a $10 check. But uh, I want to talk to you today about the power of a mentor and partner in your real estate business. And for those of you that's been struggling trying to get your first deal or your second deal, um, I, I have a passion at this point of trying to help some others out as well. Uh, I've been in the game for uh, almost five years, four or five years, I, I need to do the math on that, but I've done a little north of a hundred transactions of different types. I understand uh, what it means to go to these seminars over and over and over and over and over. They're charging you $50,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, and you still don't get anything done trying to do this thing on your own. I understand all of that. It took me 10 months to get my first deal, 10 months. And in part is because, you know, I was working on all the wrong stuff uh, as well as you just don't know what you don't know. And in this industry, these seminars do not give you the golden nuggets. They don't give you all the secret sauce. They give you enough information to get your dopamines pumping to make your brain all feel good and excited. All the glitz and glam of real estate. And that's pretty much about it. They, you don't get the, the true golden nuggets of what happens in the, in, in the street. So I've been in the street now doing deals. I, I don't consider myself a guru. I consider myself a guru. <laughs> and I've been in the street doing deals. And uh, like I said, a little north of the hundred. And uh, this is just another, but this one is a special deal. Another special deal because this one is a, a deal that I'm helping a, one of my mentees out with. And just so you know, this mentee uh, apparently came across some of my videos. And I'll be honest, I was reluctant to, to doing this social media stuff, but my mentor has told me that it's time to reach one, teach one. And it's time to, to try to, you know, help others with the knowledge. And, uh, you know, he found me to be a pretty authentic realist guy. And he thought that, you know, that, that might be attractive to some folks because there's just too much of this commercialism with real estate creating a lot of false information like, hey, you can do real estate with no money out of your pocket and, and you know, no money transactions and all this crap. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's any business that you're gonna be in, if you're gonna call it a business, takes money. Now, you know, there's no money transaction stuff. It can take, you know, uh, like I said, I'm showing you a check of $10 if, you know, to some people that's a little money, some people is no money. But, you know, it's still money. You got to have some type of operating uh, capital to do business if you're going to call yourself getting into real estate business. But, you know, pr 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 you know, theoretically, you can do no money transactions, but practically is not 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 a real list. And so there's a lot of you I know that's out there. They know that 95 percent of these folks that go to these seminars don't do anything. They are, they have the stats. They have the stats. 95% of these folks that pays 20, 30, 40, and 50,000 dollars don't really do much of anything. And at best, they may get one if they're lucky, but most don't. And so I, I kind of have a passion for those folks that's been taken advantage of, and you're still struggling to try to do that. Uh, so I do want to kind of help you out. Um, and I, 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 I'm so happy to, to share this video with you because of. Um, a mentee that happened to reach out to me uh, not more than a week ago. Actually, it's probably been about a week at this point, but he, he had reached out to me and wanted my help. He said he had just got involved with trying to study real estate and he's been on a YouTube university trying to do it, but he saw one of my videos and just said, you know, I really would love some help. So uh, he reached out to me on one of those videos. I actually reached back out to him because I'm a personable kind of guy like that. And uh, I reached back out to him. And, you know, we, we came, uh, we, we, we actually couldn't come to a viable arrangement for me 
to, to, to help him out. I, I've done too much free stuff in the past, and it really has worked against me from the amount of time that I lost as well as the value that I was putting out. And uh, my mentor just told me to stop doing that. And so I, I just couldn't do anything. Uh, we couldn't come up to an arrangement with this guy. But this guy, uh, you know, was really a hustler. And I, I, God let me convict it to, to reach back out to this guy because he actually had a deal in hand, what I call a bird in hand. And when, I, when I, we were talking, I, I already kind of told him all the different things that he could do with this situation. And, uh, of course, he, I know he really didn't know anything about what I was talking about. It was going to be a pretty creative situation. But he got it. And God let me convict it to reach back out to him. And let's, say, let's, let's see what we work out to get this done. Because it was, there was two things that, that kept uh, bothering me and I was convicted on. One was the actual seller of this property that needed help. It was a distress type situation, an inherited property also behind on the mortgage uh, and taxes and had been laid off from her, her, her job. And, you know, so the seller was definitely a motivated seller. And then my mentee that reached out to me uh, didn't know how to help this person. And so uh, I was convicted to help him out. And the great deal news is uh, we, we uh, were able to come up to an, a, a viable arrangement with all parties. I, I worked with him first. And um, then I ended up doing a negotiation. And Bob, just so you know, this guy doesn't live near me at all. By the way, uh, it was nice. He's, he is in, in Texas, but he doesn't live near me at all. So I had to do everything on, over the phone with him electronically, et cetera. But uh, we were able to uh, negotiate with the seller. He was very happy that I was able to not only negotiate with the seller, but I, I helped him draw up because we had to do a pretty creative type of transaction with everything that was going on. And um, uh, we were able to get it drawn up and uh, I was able to get it to my mentee. He was able to uh, go meet with the seller and uh, the mentee got me back on the phone. I did a page turn. Uh, with uh, the seller, you know, with the, with the contract and all the other documents that go, had to go along with this deal. So a lot of you that are doing these like one page type situations or trying to do these one page, kind of scary. There's a lot of legalistic stuff uh, in doing transactions, you know, contingencies that you definitely want. There's things that also protects the seller as well. So a lot of these one page transaction, uh, one page contracts that you see promoted uh, throughout the country. It's, it can be kind of delicate depending on the state that you're in. I know in Texas, um, they're very big with protecting the consumer. Uh, Texas is a very business friendly state, but they're also very protective of, of consumers as well. So it, it works both ways. And I like to use the bona fide uh, Texas Real Estate Commission documents when I'm doing deals here in Texas. So long story short, of course, it looked scary to him first time ever, uh, this mentee, and I was able to work with him through it all, uh, did the page turn with the seller. So we are currently under contract. This man that reached out to me not more than a week ago uh, has his first deal. We are under contract, and uh, this deal uh, has uh, the profitability for him to make about $8,000. And um, so I'm pretty excited for him and being able to help him through this thing. He was very grateful as well. And I wanted to share this with you because he would not have been in this situation had he not had the sense enough to reach out for a mentor or a coach. Now, am I saying I'm the only mentor and coach out there? No, I'm not. But uh, I will say that currently at the time of this video, I am accepting uh, 